Got a 2007 stretched out Peter built a new 3406 BRT, yes sir, read Bob. Okay, so today is going to be the first video in the start of our redo videos. Now I'm going to pick the simplest one because we want to update for 2015 and we want to update a lot of our previous videos. So obviously by the title today is saving money. There's multiple ways to save money. Now I know the last time I put it in a few videos, we're going to just put it in one video, make it much easier. So the main way is with your reward cards guy. Well, I shouldn't say the main way, but the first one we're gonna talk about is your rewards card. I know I'm missing one here. Uh, actually, I'm missing two. I'm missing my Ambest. It's in here somewhere. Okay, so we got your Pilot Flying J. You got your Wilco Hess. You got your Ultra One, which is Petro TA. And you've got your Loves. And you got your Ambest, of course. Okay, so doesn't matter whether you're a company driver or uh, owner operator you figure out which one you fuel at the most a lot of times you end up fueling at all of them but there's always one that you fuel at more than you do the others and that's one that you got to concentrate on for us it's flying j pilot i got about 85 dollars sitting on this card right now and i'm still saving up okay so here's the whole thing with these reward points and now remember this is just my opinion my advice you guys can do whatever you please doesn't really matter to me but i just want to try to give you some a tip on how to spend your reward to uh points uh where you will benefit the most from it now i see a lot of drivers and a lot of drivers do this they'll go in and they'll buy themselves a meal whether it be a sub a hamburger some chips a drink whatever it doesn't matter food they'll go in and buy food snacks or even a meal and they say oh well i'm getting a free meal and, and I've gotten some guy, what, there's several people that have argued with me on this. And I, I don't understand it. Maybe it's just me being stupid. I don't know. And they insist that's the best way to spend their points. Me, on the other hand, the best way to spend your points is to buy tangible items. I.e. Bluetooth headset. TV. Um... GPS, uh, dash cam, which is up front, CB. Uh, there's, it's, it's endless of what you can buy on tangible items. Items that are gonna last you. Oh, and, and of course in there, your, your uh, lunchbox stoves, uh, cooking items, things like that. And th this is why I say that. A, any one of these items, TV, etc., etc., etc. Every time you use it, you'll know that you got it either free or heavily discounted through your reward points. Uh, free is always better, obviously. Like I said, I'm up to $80. Uh, so there's lots of stuff I can buy for free. And every time you use it, you're going to say, you know what? I didn't pay a penny for that. And it's saving you money every time you use it. Whereas a meal is only good for the few hours that you stay full and not hungry. Uh, if you have a breakfast, let's say, by the time lunchtime rolls around and you start and you need to eat again, that discount, that satisfaction is gone. Never to be reused again. Whereas a lunchbox stove, a TV, tools, GPS, whatever, are constantly being reused and therefore you're getting the best value out of your points. Again, you guys can use them however you want. If you prefer to get a free meal and have that six hour satisfaction or five hour satisfaction or whatever it is, and then it's gone forever, that's your doing. Me personally, I like to buy actual items such as my Bluetooth, which I bought on points, my TV, which I used a majority of my points to get. I got like almost 50% off. I, it was like 40% off. I, I had like $80 at the time. It, the TV was like $200. Um, my GPS, I had $100 worth of points when I bought it. Um, let's see what else. My dash cam, I used some points. I didn't have much because I bought it through Loves. And I had like $20. But hey, 20 bucks is 20 bucks, right? My Burton stove to go that I got, absolutely free. Didn't pay a penny for it through the points. So, anyways. That's my point, guys, on that. Okay, so another way, and this one's just a quick one, 
to add to it to save money while on the road is stop at the Walmarts, uh, the Hebs uh, or HEB. Uh, you know, in Canada, stop at the independent grocers that are along the highway. I mean, on the 401, uh, there's a couple you can get into. The Walmart Super Centers out Western Canada. I don't know if there's a different grocery chain out there, uh, but th that are accessible. Uh, get in there and stock up on dry goods. Or even when you're at home next time. Dry goods, you don't have to worry about ever going bad. They're dry goods, so you can stock up on them. Um, the only things then you need to buy... Uh, are like milk you know uh, when you get first out on the road and you take off if you've got a fridge or a cooler you know butter you can buy from home that lasts a really long time if you get the big tub uh, and, and it'll you're good you know lunch meats so then basically you only have to get into a grocery store once every two weeks week and a half depending on what items you have and how much you have of it to restock up on those items the refrigerated items so you can keep those fresh, whereas dry goods, you'll have lots in the truck already. Uh, and, th and that's a really good way to save money, guys, is doing that versus going into the truck stop restaurant. I know some people can say, well, I need to, I'm, I refuse to eat in the truck. Well, that's fine and dandy. If you refuse to eat in the truck and you want to do the restaurant thing all the time, you go ahead and do that. Because, you know, when I first came out here, I did the exact same thing. I want to eat in the restaurant. But then after a while, you start to realize spending an extra, you know, anywhere from 150 to $250 a week on restaurant food really hurts the paycheck after a while. That's extra money I would rather put towards uh, stuff at home. So, uh, for example, that we're, you know, going to hopefully this uh, beginning of this summer, we're going to be building a new deck in the back, in our patio. So, uh, but anyway, that's either here or there. Okay, so that's it for today's video. Saving money. Uh, the best way to do it on the road uh, is, you know, stopping at the grocery stores, buy your food, points cards. Use them for tangible uh, items. That might not even be the right word to use. Use it for items that you're going to reuse. That's more the, the better way to put it. Use it on reusable items, not items that after six hours are in your stomach and you're pooping it out or whatever, you know, because it ain't no good no more and you ain't feeling the, the satisfaction no more. All right? So that's it. That's all for today's video. Uh, we're going to start posting a few more. Give me a little bit of time. I'm coming up. I may be changing things around again. Um, just to give you a heads up. Um, I don't know what I'm going to do here. Molly and Me channel. It's sort of stagnant a little bit. I'm, I don't know what to do there. I want to get more in the trucking stuff. But I don't want to put it on the Molly and Me. Because Molly and Me is supposed to be about me and the dog. Uh, in the truck. Whereas trucking is on the trucking channel here. So anyways, we'll work it out. We're going to figure it out. I'm looking for suggestions. Um, we may bring back BRT on a more regular basis other than one video a week. Um, but we'll see. Anyways, I'm sorry. I'm a day late with this one. We'll talk next. Got a 2007 stretched out Peter built a new 3406 The cat likes a pull Flying down the interstate 13 on the stick I got a stack of paper logs Like we used to use yesterday When we still drove our trucks with pride But now they cut back My horse has got an e-log on the dash Now I'm always running behind Tell me it's for safety, but I'm way below the limit Cause they're taking all my power away I'm cut back so slow and a bug gets my windshield And says get the hell out of my